Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo. Yo, what is good, world? It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King the Third, back with another lower third, brought to you by none other than this, that, and the third. The lifestyle show that gives you life. Literally. Now, today's lower third is all about entertainment. Well, sort of. Because while we'll also talk about new news and everyone's favorite topic on this and the third, which is none other than relationships. All of this shit is still hella entertaining. Okay, so let's hop right down into it. Topping off today's lower third is the rootinous, tootinous gunslinger in the Western Conference. That's right. I'm talking about none other than Mr. When I Go IG Live, niggas just might have to die. And by niggas, I mean my Nike endorsement and my all-star NBA career. Ja, fuck you talking about Morant, a.k.a. Ja bench warrant of the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, if you haven't heard this story, trust me, it's a wild one. Earlier in the season, Ja was suspended for going IG Live in a Denver Gentleman's Club where he was seen flashing a gun so little, I believe they said it had to be filled up with water in order for it to be able to shoot. Nevertheless, a gun's a gun, and dumb is dumb. So dumbass Ja, he had to serve an eight-game suspension, attend therapy, and sit down with NBA legend Jalen Rose in a one-on-one -on -one interview where he had this to say. It's not who I am. I don't condone and, you know, any type of violence, um, but I take you know, full responsibility you know, for my actions. I um, made a you know, bad mistake, um, and I can see uh, the image you know that I, I painted you know over myself you know with my recent mistakes but you know in the future um i'm gonna show everybody who john really is mm -hmm. you know what i'm about and um you know change this narrative news flash nigga use a goofy but still that was just the first incident. Now, fast forward just a mere two months later, and old Jaja is back at it like a crack addict, toting yet another gun on IG Live, this time a full-grown adult-sized gun on his so-called friends page. You know, buddy ass that was banned from the Grizzlies facility earlier this season for apparently tooling up on opposing teams. Yeah, that guy. Well. I guess if there's any silver lining in this whole ordeal, it's the fact that while Job ja may be suspended for close to 25 games to start next season, at least the Grizzlies no longer have to deal with Dylan the villain on the roster. Trash ass nigga. In entertainment, here's a quick hit list of some newer content to check out, or nah, based on your consumption preferences. In music, there's Jack Harlow's new album, entitled Jackman, which features such singles as They Don't Love It, Is That Aight, and Denver. And then there's the baby's new EP, called a fireman which features three short but sweet absolute bangers you just might want to vibe out to both projects are currently topping hip-hop streaming charts and then of course there's the queen bee herself beyonce's renaissance tour which began may 10th in sweden to rave reviews as expected this highly anticipated tour comes to chicago july 22nd and 23rd at soldiers field now if you want to attend this event it's gonna cost you it may cost you a lot, or it may cost you hella lots, but it will cost you. Current prices on SeatGeek range from a couple hundred dollars to the soul of your firstborn child. So while this concert is still a while away, we'd strongly suggest that you hurry up and buy. Because while you won't break my soul, you just might have to sell that motherfucker if you're trying to get into this concert, which is shaping up to be the experience of a lifetime. And finally, in relationships... I know y'all heard about that new Jonathan Majors headline. Nah, not the one about the domestic situation with the bunny. You know, the one that has his personal life seemingly spiraling out of control and derailing his would-be superstar movie career before it can even really get started. Nah, not that one. I'm talking about the other one that now supposedly has him fucking with and on African America's favorite good girl gone bad, Miss Megan Good. Say it ain't so, mm -mm good. Say it ain't so. Nah, I'm just hating. Let me stop. But if this story is true, props to Jonathan for coming back from the dark side to get with a sister, especially one that's coming with it like M. Goods. And props to Megan 
for now having taken one of the top rated sparring partners off the market completely. If we have any advice we can offer Megan at this time, it would simply be take things one round at a time, work the jab, and don't forget to bob and weave, bitch. And I guess that about wraps us up for today's Lower Third. Brought to you by This, That, and The Third. The lifestyle show that gives you life. Literally. Be sure to check us out whenever you're on your favorite social or streaming sites by searching This, That, and The Third with the third spelled I-I-I like the Roman numeral three. Once again, it's been your boy, Calvin Leroy King, The Third. And shout out to my lovely co-hostess with the mostest, Miss Reese PC, the one and only. And we are the Undisputed King and Queen of Chicago Podcast. Check us out.